We are a sustainable oyster farm, hopefully 100% sustainable by spring 2020. You also got to count on bags, see how many we have. So how many like thousand oysters we have ready for market? No bird, I think. He's going in? Yeah. yeah. We grow oysters and we're trying to clean up the oceans and be as eco-friendly as possible. Right there, you got it. And then you just go over there. We started out digging clams two years ago and we were wondering what do we do during high tide? Uh, because you dig clams during low tide and then the tide comes back in and you, you wait, which is kind of what I'm doing now, waiting for low tide and then I can go back out and dig clams. So we heard about these oyster farms, you know, popping up, there's some local ones, and we decided we'll just try it. And we gave it our all and here, here we are, just about a year later and we're about to sell our first harvest of oysters. Owning a business, I think, is really supplementative with going to school here. I'm in marketing and I can learn hands-on what I can implement into my business. So I think that the school helps out a ton and it doesn't make it too, too hard to manage or if I have homework and stuff like that because I can see how it all works out to the end. I took SolidWorks my first semester, my freshman year. Machine right here. It's a CAD modeling software and I really like doing it and I figured I'd design an oyster tumbler. There really weren't concrete CAD designs out there for it. It cleans, it chips and sorts the oysters. It's taken away a lot of the hands-on work. I've never really built something that is so useful. <laughs> um, I've always kind of tinkered with things, but this is making us money and saving us real time. So it feels real good. Check. Yep, looks right on the dot, going yeah. straight across the hash mark for yeah. the 30. All right. Dr. Paul Rawson and Gemma Nichols come out every two weeks. They come and test the turbidity, the nutrients, the salinity, the water temperature, and they're testing oyster growth in the New Meadows River. To compare when growth is occurring among the oysters here, compared to what we saw three, four years ago on the Damascotta River where we ran a similar project. G67? 41.62. I'm really interested to see about the water quality of the river, what the nutrients are going to be like, and to learn more so we can help growers see how to succeed on the new meadows. We have a seven. It really gets us excited to be working with researchers, making these innovations in the industry. Yeah, look at that growth. Since the last time you guys were out here, you could get bored just staring at oysters all day and just watching them grow. Twelve. If you can be involved with other things going on, it makes it very interesting and getting involved in the research I think is really healthy for anyone in any industry. Lit in points coming today. They want um, 700 oysters. It's great. I mean, I, we, we've sold clams and stuff before for a while, but right. nothing that we've like had to make an investment into. Yeah, or, or wait for. Um, or wait for, yeah. I don't know. Every oyster I look at and see oh. that we're going to sell it, that's all the hard work that we put into it. So like the finishing, you can actually see our efforts oh, in yeah. each oyster we sell. 